yeah, yeah. But again, this is literally but, just a result of us starting out. Yeah, this is, right. a, I think I get so many, you guys probably do as well, so many questions around pricing. Um, it's always like, I don't, how, how do I price my services? Like, oh, I don't know if I'm charging too much or too little. And I mean, it honestly depends what route you're coming into this business model with. If you're coming in as say, like a, a younger person who's just put all this time into, into learning voice AI and they know it from the ground up themselves and they're basically freelancing, then your price doesn't really freaking matter, does it? Like if you're doing it yourself, pick an hourly rate for yourself and then do it based off that. It's no, it's not like you're going to go into the red on it. But as soon as you're, if you're coming in, maybe as someone who doesn't know this, the technical side themselves and doesn't want to learn that, then you've got a bit of a tricky position where they might have a dev under them and they're trying to like oversee the build. And that's when the pricing becomes important and you just want to make sure you're at least breaking even. Yeah. The, the problem is I think everyone tries to build a complete solution. That's the biggest issue we see. So what yeah. we did is to, to all of our students, small. we basically gave them an, an icebreaker offer. That's how we call it, right? Yeah. So you literally try to bundle the minimum the minimum thing that you can build to, that still brings value and that's what yeah. you push out because you can easily templatize it and you can sell it for the mm -hmm. always same rate so yeah. 